Welcome to the EHR webinar on electronic prescriptions, drug interaction, and drug formulary tracks. During this presentation, we will show you how to set up electronic prescriptions with drug interaction and drug formulary checks within the new crop interface accessible through Open Dental. We will be using the steps shown on the ERX or Electronic RX webpage on opendental.com. Please note that although we are capable of explaining how to enter EHR data and produce reports for EHR, the EHR provider needs to ensure that someone on staff will be responsible for his or her own EHR process. If you need advanced help from Open Dental, our EHR consulting fee is $100 an hour. Topics for this webinar will include the EHR objective for e-prescribing, e-prescribing setup requirements, drug formulary definition and setup, drug interaction definition and setup, and supporting documentation for the EHR objective. E-prescribing is relevant for EHR providers writing over 100 prescriptions within a reporting period. For electronic prescriptions to count towards the numerator in measure calculations, the user logged into Open Dental and creating the prescription must be a provider with an EHR key. In my database, as you see here, we have admins logged into Open Dental, and this particular user is associated with an EHR provider with an EHR key. The setup requirements need to be performed prior to transmitting electronic prescriptions, and they are as follows. Enable ERX. Complete identity proofing with Verizon UIS. Complete credentialing, as well as the additional steps for EPCS, or e-prescribing of controlled substances. Enabling the comprehensive version of e-prescribing via contacting Open Dental. This will include drug interaction and drug formulary checks. We will now show you how to in access the new crop interface in order to set up drug formularies and drug interaction checks. From within our selected patient chart module, Kim here, we're going to select the ERX button on the top left-hand corner. This will therefore bring up the Compose RX aspect of the new crop interface. From here, you can click on the Admin tab on the top right corner. And from the List section, click on Account Health Plan List. The current list of drug formularies and health plans will display. You can either delete from this list or add additional health plans by clicking on the corresponding link. Using the search field, we can type in the name of our insurance plan for this patient. And clicking on search will generate a list for the plans. This defaults to show any of the plans listed under your current state. Or you can also search for national accounts. I'm going to click on Moda Health Plan PPO and click on Add to List. And as you see, it does add it to our list. From here, we are now ready to attach this health plan or formulary to Kim. To do so, we'll click on the Patient Details tab and use the drop down here for her primary insurance to indicate that that is her coverage. Had she any other coverage with any other plan, secondary, tertiary, or even Medicaid, we can therefore select from our list using the drop-down as well. To save this information, we'll click on Save and go to Compose RX. Now, 
Now that we have added our drug formulary, which is a list of generic and brand name drugs that are preferred by your health plan, we'll go ahead and show you how it works. Once we start composing an Rx, our prescription, by typing in the selected drug and clicking on drug search, it will display the preferred dosages of that prescription for that particular plan. In this case, all of them are preferred. I'm simply going to select I, any one of these for the 10 milligram. And that is how a drug formulary check is performed. Now to the drug interaction check. A drug interaction check is defined as follows. Any pending prescription entered will be checked for any actual interactions with current allergies and medications listed in UCROP. The list of allergies and medications are defined on this Compose Rx page. As you see, we have no allergies entered. And as you see, we also have this current medication entered for Kim. Any prescriptions written and transmitted via new crop will be automatically added to this view here. However, anything indicated in open dental allergy and medication list for the selected patient will not sync and thus need to be added manually. Because Kim does have an allergy to latex, we need to indicate that in her new crop interface. To do so, we'll click on the allergy intolerance button here. And we'll enter in the name of her allergy and click on search for allergy. This brings up a list of the allergies. In this case, I'm clicking latex comment. And we could add additional information relative to this allergy. I'm going to indicate moderate and onset date and a note. We can either choose to save this single allergy or save and add an additional allergy. In this case, she just has one. And as you see, allergy has now been listed to her allergies. In order to add a medication for Kim that is not currently existing, we can click on the Med Entry tab. Here, we can go ahead and type in the name of the allergy, or I'm sorry, the medication. and click on drug search. So I'm here, we'll select the one that she, and the dosage that she's taking, and that will allow us to therefore review that. And if it is accurate, move it to the current list of medications. And as you see, citalopram is now added to the current list for Kim. Drug interaction checks happen when you are submitting a pending prescription. So from our Compose Rx page, I'm going to prescribe Coumadin. And as you see, per our drug formulary, it is not in the list of formularies. But I'm just going to go ahead and select it anyway to show you. Once you select it and take it to the complete Rx2 review page, it will automatically display the drug-to-drug -drug interaction check with not only 
amoxicillin, but also citalopram. At this point, we want to go ahead and modify this current pending prescription by clicking on return slash additional rx we have the ability to therefore go back to the pending prescriptions list and delete it CMS recommends that you capture and save one or more dated screenshots of formulary checks during the reporting period as supporting documentation. You can use the snipping tool to create screenshots at the beginning and the end of your reporting period. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and select Citalopram here. Once we go ahead and select that, as you see, it does bring up a preferred list here. We'll go ahead and take a screenshot of the entire screen. And that will allow us to save that on our desktop. For future use. For any additional documentation or information, please visit our opendental.com website or simply contact us at 503-363-5432. Thank you and have a good day.